We found your bug, of course. Eventually. I must compliment you, Mr. Cord. We thought it was the work of a team, not just one man. I've got backup. They're out there. No, I don't think so. You see, we picked up a couple of Kostov's men. Dukyum broke them very easily. He so enjoys his work. Ah! Now, by the land train. Alpha said you were going to execute Chi Ling Chung. She's a Chinese agent, John. Nagarov's having her transported to a prison camp in the north. I think she knows what he's up to, so we need to talk to her first. You're going to have to lift her from the land tray. Did you trust her? She was an agent. Of course I didn't trust her. If she tried to contact Beijing, I had orders to shoot her. Tell me about the attack on the land train. I decided to hit the land train alone. Kostov agreed that was a good idea. He told me where to wait and what time. It wasn't all he told me. Of course, if you do get in, you'll never get out. Why not? My comrades in the north have planted the bomb on it. How terribly considerate of them. When's it due to go off? Eh, you should have a couple of hours. Why didn't you tell me earlier? You were so keen on rescuing the girl, I didn't want to spoil your fun. A couple of hours? Ah, more or less, give or take a few minutes. Well, you know how it is with us peasant armies. <laughs> You can see why it's called the Land Train. Fitting name. Anyway, hey there everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play in Cold Blood. It looks like this is the only way into this vehicle. Pity it's armor plated. Hmm. If only we had something like a mine to blow it open. Light blue touch paper, and stand well back. Yeah, if you stand there, you will get blown off the edge. You don't want that to happen. Anyway, the land train is actually one of my favorite missions in the entire game. Some engine. Yeah, that's quite the engine. doesn't work. Great. There's got to be another way up. Well, what's this thing? Fire sensor. Could be useful. And now we have one of those very rare uses for the pocket lighter. Hello. Who the hell are you? I came to put the fire out. I don't see any fire. Lucky I got here when I did. You'd better have a good reason for being here. For I'm calling security. I need your help. There's nothing I can do for you. I've got a job to do. What job's that? Classified, I'm afraid. Sounds suspicious to me. I've already told you too much. Is 
Sounds like we'd better get up this elevator. And be ready to shoot these two really quick. I really like the ambience in this level, just the sound of the land train. Okay, we can actually, it may not look it, but we can actually stealth this part. Okay, that was a bit of an awkward punch, but it worked. Go ahead and reload. Also, you got infinite ammunition from this An thing. Ammunition bin. There's enough in here to start a world war. I could do with some of that. How did he miss me? Gregor's man, aren't you? Gregor? I don't have time for this. VFF, aren't you? Got caught on a mission to plant a bomb. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm with Gregor Kostov. Trust me. How do I know you're with Kostov? Tell me the password. Kostov doesn't use passwords. He always forgets them. <laughs> you're from Kostov, all right. What are you doing here? Bomb is said to go off soon. There's a prisoner aboard. A Chinese woman. I need to get her out. You've no time. I have a couple of hours before the bomb explodes. It's said to go off at 4 a.m. That's only 25 minutes. That's right. Then I need to deactivate it. Where is it? You can't. All you can do is set the timer back. Can you deactivate it? I can't even get out of this bed. They've beaten me so badly. So where is it? Where's the bomb? It's in a crate of reactor coils in the cargo car. That's the next one forward. But listen. You'll need the timer key to reset it. They took it from me when I was captured. I don't know what they did with it. Do they know anything about the bomb? No. They caught me after I planted it. Have you seen the Chinese woman? I saw her when they carried me on board. The bomb's in the cargo car, you say? In a crate of coils. Well, listen. You'll need the timer key to reset it. They took it from me when I was captured. What about a girl? A child? Did she come aboard? How should I know? I had a bomb to plant. The name's Cord. Hargev. Felix Hargev. By the way, they've blocked off the route between car 4 and 3. You'll have to find another way around. Thanks. I'm sorry I can't help you. Go now. Good luck. Remora, mark the time to bomb detonation as 25 minutes. And keep me updated on the remaining time. Very well, John. It was 25 minutes, like, about 3 minutes ago. There should be like 22 left by now, but whatever. I just find that weird. Get me the medical records. Let me have the info on Kharkiv. What's it got on Nagarov? As usual. Patch me into the terminal operations. Open locker 23 for me. 
If the probe isn't there, we're going to run out of time. Well, we'd better hope it is then. There's locker number 23. Let's see if that did the trick. Now I've got the probe, I can reset the bomb. Just got to find that crate of reactor coils. Yeah, even though this mission is timed, you really don't have to worry too much about the timer because it's extremely lenient. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I kind of came in the wrong way to deal with that room. Oh. Well, I must think again. That didn't go too well. So you're not gonna help me then? No. Okay, it's not it's okay, it's not if you have if you don't have any med packs. I think it's you if if you have like below half health or so, it gives you med packs usually if you don't have any. Okay, yeah, let's uh take care of that robot, you know, first before we do anything else this time. Very easy to do that, thankfully, because here's the recharge point. Let's just pop the EMP mine in here. And leave. Just wait out here and watch the remora for a bit. There it comes. By the way, if you like mess around too much um, before you talk to Felix, I'm pretty sure that. If you actually wait for around 20 or 30 minutes, um, I'm pretty sure the whole thing will actually blow up. Like, before you even actually activate the timer. And depending on how long it takes you to, like, actually talk to him and activate the timer, I think you have less time, because... I swear the first time I played this game, I remember it giving me, like, 15 minutes instead of 25. I think 25 is the maximum amount, amount that you can get if you get there quick enough. Because I do remember that. Okay, there's... Actually, let's check this terminal. Ah, yeah, the gun control I terminal. Info on the systems. Not bad. Gun emplacements on the top of this car and two others. Looks like some kind of storeroom. Looks like a detonator. Now that could be useful. Funny thing is, despite the emphasis that he places on that, um, as far as I know, the detonator actually has no use whatsoever. I never found a use for the detonator. I would imagine it has to have some kind of use, but I don't know, it's like I never found anything to use the detonator on. Oh, there I got a med, med pack. Oh, and two ammo clips, cool. 
Okay, so we got the probe again, so now we can move on. Well, after I take care of these two again, anyway. Ran past the door. A laser across the door. Hmm. And a gun up above us. I wonder what would happen if we walked into the laser. Who can possibly say? Oh, I can't interact with that? Okay. That's not how we turn off the laser anyway. Time to go in here. Hello there. Can I help you? That's up to you. What does that mean? Means I want information, and you might want to live. Oh, God. Wait, can we talk to him again? Hey. Just keep me out of this, please. Okay, he's not going to help us. Well, no matter. What about the terminal operations? Switch off the security laser, blocking the way to car four. Are there any more of these? Oh, that's handy. You know, I wonder if you were to like somehow like glitch past the laser door without turning it off. Like, like, if you were to, to, like, somehow get past the laser door and get into the other cars without deactivating it, then it's like, I, I really wonder if... This should be the cargo car, according to Hachev. So where will I find the coils? Damn. It's locked. Yeah, I stopped talking because loading screen was coming up there, but I wonder if you would actually find, um, like, if you were to somehow get past that without shutting off the laser, I wonder if the other cars would actually have lasers blocking the doors. I wouldn't think they would bother to, like, program that, considering it's, like, supposed to be completely impossible. Oh. Cord, get over there. Ooh, that's close. Like, it's supposed to be completely impossible to get past that door without turning off the laser, but I don't know. It's like it says there's lasers in other cars, so I don't know. It's just a detail I wonder about. How did that robot not see me? Oh, there it saw me.
Okay, now we hide and we wait. And wait. And there it goes. There's no way I can find the coils in time just by searching. I need more information. Um... I don't think I ever stealth killed him before. I, I always thought he like turned around and started shooting you immediately. You don't need to shoot, please. Better let me be the judge of that. Okay, okay. Just don't hurt me. I'm looking for reactor coils. Where are they stored? I don't know. I don't know. Try the computer terminal. Where do these elevators go? Up to the cargo base. How do I get to where they hold the prisoners? You need to get to the command car at the front of the land train. But there's no way you'll get past the barracks car. Barracks? The next car up. It's loaded with guards and they'll kill you. Thanks for your help. Looks like it's only a database for the cargo car. Well, that could be helpful. The records. Can you find the location of the reactor coils? There we go. How did I not hit that guy? Anyway, here is the crate, obviously. Here's the crate, number 66. So let's reset the... You know, actually, hold on. I think I tried this a long time ago. I think I tried using the detonator here to see if you could detonate the bomb. Bad idea. Yeah, it doesn't work. No way. No way. That's no use. No, that's wrong. That's no use. If you use the wrong item... That's just plain stupid. There we go, that's the one I was looking for. <laughs> Here goes. If you use the wrong item on something, he comments. That's the bomb timer reset. I just hope it gives me time to find the girl. Resetting the bomb has given you another 16 minutes, John. And believe it or not, you can actually reset it again, too. Well, I might as well show that off, actually. An hour is more than enough time to easily finish the rest of the mission, but yeah. Wait. I wonder if I can reset it again. I've managed to reset the bomb again. Resetting the bomb has given you another 16 minutes, John. I don't know if there's a limited number of times you can do that, but yeah. Damn, it's locked. 
Hayali. Oh, I know what this door is. That's oh that that's the locked door from when you first enter this car. You know, for years I wondered what that door was, like where it led to, and where the one, you know, in the uh, first room of this car led to, and now I realize they're the same thing. I don't know, maybe I realized that a long time ago and forgot, but... Yeah, looking at the map there confirmed it. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to get cord to climb ladders. Come on. There you go. We should probably turn back. So yeah, remember that uh, that console in Car Five that was uh, it had the gun controls? Yeah, that's where we need to go back to now. This door right here is what I was talking about. Oh wait, the gun controls were this way. Seriously though, if anyone's played this game and they know what the detonator is used for, if it's used for anything, please tell me because I've wondered for so long. Can you disable the gun on top of car 4? Can I target the gun on car 4? Yes. Well, do it. Kaboom! I do believe that target was destroyed. I don't know why some of these doors open automatically, but others you have to manually open. Actually, no, wait, wait, maybe that's for the robots. That might, you know, because the robots probably can't open doors that need manual switches. So they set certain doors to, like, open automatically. So that the robots can patrol on their routes and stuff. I don't know if that was a conscious design decision, but, I mean, it makes sense whether it's coincidence or not. Oh, 
I mean, other doors like that want to open automatically even when there's no robots around, but... Eh, who knows? Also, I know that looks like a path down there, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing to that. Yeah, there's nothing there. Also, I think those visuals over there are kind of bugging out. That's weird. Actually, hold on. I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode right here. This would be a good place. But yeah, the land train is one of the coolest locations in this game. And I just like the whole ambience as it rolls along and stuff. But anyway, see you, everyone.